What's up guys, this your boy Paul, I'm back with you, this is Ride Out Reviews, and today I got a new review for you on Season 2 of Homecoming. Dude, this one is insane, it is crazy, the momentum that it builds. Dude, if you want to check out this show and see if it's good, stay tuned, because it's going down. Homecoming stars Stephen James, Hong Chow, Alice Karpovsky, Janelle Manoy, and Chris Cooper. Homecoming is about a woman who can't remember anything about her and her quest to figure out what's going on, what she's done, and what she needs to do to get her memory back as she discovers the things that she did may not have been the best thing there is to do. Yo, like I said, this show is crazy. It is insane. And it is so awesome because at first it's slow and I'm like, I'm really not sure what's going on. The new character I'm not so involved with, but because I was invested in the past one, I will continue to watch. But then episode two come in. Insane, man. It just started ramping up, showing you what happened, who they are, what they did, how it's involved. Man, it's so good, dude. Oh, girl, the secretary and how she gets in the position because in the last episode of season one, she's like, he's out. I'm in. Yeah, I've talked to him. You've talked to Mr. Geis? You've been to his farm? <laughs> and then just to see the espionage, is what I want to call it, man. Homegirl's so smart, so cunning, so divisive that she just construes and makes up this plan for her to build and build and build. What? She gets so good from acting well, carrying herself with strong and elegant manner, and she takes over too. She's got it in her, probably because her old girlfriend helped her to infuse that nature within her, but she gotta have it in her because whenever she goes and talks to guys and then they end up having everybody in the room, boy, she still wasn't backing down, man. She was a tiger, tiger. She was not playing. And then <laughs> that boy, he's like, I'm gonna shut it down. We ain't doing none of this no more. But then we got, D.O.D. coming in, stepping in and saying, now, nah, it's going down. Either you want the cash, or I'm just going to take it because I'm a G. I'm just going to straight up just gank it from you, man. Debo that stuff. Can the government do that? I'm afraid of the government sometimes, man. They be showing us that high people in high places can do whatever they want. But at the same time, they give us some brevity or they loose it from what is going and saying that uh, sometimes the highest of the high folks ain't really doing the stuff that they be doing. It's really more like the people under them and hiding what they're doing from the top dog. So even though this does seem to have a political statement or saying something about society, it also says maybe it ain't their fault. But what they are saying is we getting played, dog. We getting played. Acting is phenomenal in this. Man, everybody does such a good job. The nuances of their characters, how each of them portrays, each character, the depth of feeling and hope. And then some of the characters that were in the first one, I thought they had more important roles. And then in this one, it's like they don't. And so it was really cool to see that. Seeing these people come together, especially old homeboy, LG, Leonard Geis. He was a good dude, man. And I like his heart that he wanted to make something special. But when he realized that Society can't handle it. He tried to destroy it, man. He's a good dude. And in the end, he stepped up, too. He, he came to bat and knocked that home run, man. Not all of us can be that way, but all of us should be that way. If I was going to say anything bad about this show, the only thing is that it was kind of slow when it first started. And then, it's not a show you could just watch without watching season one because all of the stuff that happens in season two builds up to that understanding in season from season one so if, if that was something bad to say is you gotta watch both seasons but the good thing it's only 17 episodes 30 minutes long each man definitely an easy fast quick watch and it's definitely worth it man and i'm gonna rate this thing a 4.5 out of 5 r's exciting man i couldn't put the book down or i couldn't turn the tv off to go check it out redeemable i think this thing shows us some really prevalent ideas man these conspiracy theories i guess i would say that go on around today and just how much pressure or 
how much influence really these people can have on our lives and everything that they do. And then they don't even or we don't even know it. But then again, as I'm watching this, I'm like, well, is this a conspiracy theory? Are the minds up top trying to make me think that the minds up top are trying to make me think bad stuff? Or is it that there is bad stuff going on and the creator of this wants us to know which one is it? At any rate, though, I like how they say it's not always their fault. Sometimes it's the people underneath. And then it even goes further and says it's not always the people underneath. Sometimes it's your fault. Because old girl was just a nice, good person. But she let her own dreams, desires, and ambition cloud the good judgment that she had. Because she was always about saying, this is unethical. This is not right. But when pushed, she desired her own good or her own benefit rather than the benefit of others. Woo! Have you heard that somewhere? Have you seen that somewhere? What cure that? Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching, man. This was a great show. Definitely has some good stuff that you can learn from it. It is definitely exciting, especially taking one and two seasons together, watching it real fast. Dude, it'll blow your mind. It'll make you think some crazy stuff. And it'll keep you excited because it is a mystery for the 2020s. Because, you know, it's, it's 2020 and... You know, it's a mystery. So, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Hey, check out all my reactions on every episode. See what you think. Watch it with me, man, as we laugh. Talk about conspiracies together. I'll see you in the next video, guys. So keep watching movies, TV shows, trailers, and then go and check out Homecoming. <laughs>